This really is what a lot of people have been talking about, and this is who is Jeffrey Epstein, who is in his inner circle and has been for the years uh, when he's accused of uh, abusing sexually uh, underage girls. And Leslie Wexner, uh, the retail mogul behind Victoria's Secret, has gotten kind of caught up in this whole uh, debacle. How, how is he involved here, Leslie Wexner? So on one hand, he's not involved in this issue at all, but on the other hand, he does have very close ties to Jeff Epstein that it will potentially hurt his business a lot. We have in the story uh, a former CFO of The Limited, which is a precursor company to the L brand, saying that the relationship was not on par, and then on top of that, there was the fact that Les Wexner said that he severed ties with Epstein more than 12 years ago, around the time when he was initially um, arrested. And but it, it all goes back in part to the question of how did Jeff Epstein make that much money? Yes. I mean, they say it's $500 million. How did he make $500 million managing someone's money? And he actually, the reports are, at least that Mr. Wexner gave him this really expensive townhouse. Yeah. So there was a transfer of the townhouse. It's very blurry if you for look zero. at how that happened. For yeah. zero, and then there was payment. It's, you know, it's unclear the money trail. And then also, don't forget, he also transferred the jet over, yeah. a Boeing 727. But it really raises a question because Victoria's Secret has been under fire for a long time mm -hmm. and trying to figure out how to rebrand at this point, given the fact that millennials and younger people are not that interested in the same sort of sex pot kind of uh, allure that it really sold for a long time. It raises a question about the whole image of the company, especially because Leslie Wexner and Jeffrey Epstein, in the story uh, written by Bloomberg College, Colleagues talking about how they were so intimately connected, not just with the townhouse, but with everything, with deals having to do with uh, Victoria's Secret. And I think what is even worse is the fact that after 12 years, he said that their ties were completely severed. But in 2008, there's still things going on in which both of their names are on the same paperwork. Yeah, and we should just repeat where we started, which there's no allegation I'm aware of that Mr. Wexner was in any way involved in the con conduct. That not at all. Rise to the indictment and things. No. It's just a question of where did Mr. Epstein really come from? But but you know, I think that. It'll be interesting to watch in markets whether there is a guilt yeah. by association regardless of the legal proof or not. Yeah. So, I mean, I think yeah. that you're absolutely right, right to just say there is no evidence right. linking the two. And yet, you did see Victoria's Secret's L Brand's shares yeah. dip a little bit when the first report started coming out. Don't forget also in his um, home, there's a civil lawsuit that says a woman said that she was attacked actually in Lex Wessner's home by Jeff Epstein. It's uh, the story goes on not very comfortably.